So hello everyone. Today we'll talk about how to create very simple Telegram bot. So we will talk how to create in a Java programming language. So in order to create, we first open Intel IG. Here we click File and a New Project. And here in these options we need to choose Maven. The project with Maven. Then click Next. And then we need to give the name to our project. Let's call it Simple Telegram Bot. Then we click Finish. Open in this window. Window and here it opens us. So IntelliJ creates for us some starting point for the creating Telegram bot and uh, opens for us file called pom.xml. Uh, this file allows us to uh, allows us to connect some libraries, and uh, we need to include the library for from the Telegram so we could able to connect, communicate with the Telegram bot. So, first of all, we go to this website. Link to this website I will provide in the description of this video. And here it says with Maven. So we copy-paste this part of the dependency, go back to our project, and here we need to write dependencies. And inside of the dependencies, we copy-paste the code that we uh, copied from that website. Then we need to synchronize our project so IntelliJ would download the libraries from this uh, from this dependency. So here in order to do that we click this button and as you can see IntelliJ did all the job. Then we open this project, go to the folder called CRS, then main, and here we open the Java and we create some class. Let's call this, that class simple bot. And then we need to write extends telegram long polling bot. Then we go back to this website and um, we need to copy paste this part of the code and uh, paste it here then click alt enter and as you can see IntelliJ imported us some libraries to work with telegram bot so this part of the code consists of the three methods first method is called on update received the second is uh, get bot username and third one is get bot token why do we need each of these methods? I will talk later, but for now, we need to create bot with inside of the Telegram. So I open my Telegram account, and here in the search, I'm gonna uh, look for the bot father. So bot father is a Telegram bot that allows us to create the Telegram bot. So it allows us to create Telegram bot with username, with a name. And if you open bot father for the first time, here you should see the button start. But I have already used this bot and that's why I see restart bot. So I click restart bot. And this bot responds to me with some options. And here, uh, first we need to click new bot. And uh, then this bot ask us, asks how should we name our bot. So let's call it uh, simple telegram bot and then it uh, asks for username and the username should end with keyword bot so it can be like this like this option or this option so let's call it CSS 108 simple bot so now, as you can see, it works fine. As you can see, it says done, congratulations. But uh, this username should be unique, so nobody else before should use this username. And uh, if some username is already reserved, you can always choose other username. So 
this bot responds us with this IP token. So this IP token is unique and uh, this is a kind of key to connect to our bot. But before we need to open our bot, so let's copy paste this and search. So here, as you can see, the Telegram bot is already created. And here we click start and uh, we can write some any message like hello world. But this bot does nothing because we didn't write any code to do to respond to this bot. So what should we do next? We copy paste this token, open our project, and here it says get bot token. So instead of returning no, we need to return this token. So we return it in this format. Then <clears throat> it says get bot username, and uh, we need to write this username. Here, return and like this. Then, uh, so this uh, method allows us to define what user, what bot we're gonna use. What is the username of the bot? And this method allows us to define what is the AP token or K to our bot. And this method is necessary to handle all the messages, comments from the bot. So if someone gonna write some message to our bot, we can catch that message inside of this method. But before we need to register our bot, in order to register our bot, we need to create as a class called, for example, main. And then we need to write public static void main. And then we open our website in here. There is given some code to register our bot. So we copy paste on this part of the code and paste it here. So we click Alt Enter. So as you can see, IntelliJ imported some very important uh, libraries. But here it shows error. So here it says, it created object bots IP and then it says bots IP dot register bot but here it's a different class that we created we need to write the class that we created here so it's a simple bot so we need to write new simple so it's with lowercase letter simple bot so now we need to run our code so let's run our code here run main we need to run main and let's see what's gonna happen so everything seems to be fine except this part but uh, it doesn't affect our program much so you can just skip that now uh, let's stop it for now now let's open our code and here Let's handle some message to check uh, is this uh, on update receive method works fine. So in order to do that, let's output all the message that we write here in our bot to output in our console in our IntelliJ. So in order to do that, we need to write system out println. Then here, as you can see, this method accepts uh, the parameters update so this object allows us to get the messages that we get that any user can write um, to the bot so we write here update get message get text so let's run the code so everything seems to be fine now let's open our bot and let's write hello there and as you can see here whatever we write here it outputs message here then let's write uh, for example how do you do 
and uh, as you can see we can see the message so everything works fine so there is a connection between our code and the bot so next uh, we can get the name of the user that write to our bot and we can also output that name to the our console so in order to do that we can write update get um, message get from and here we can write get first name we can or we can get get last name so let's write get first name so we can output the message that any user writes to our bot and uh, then we can also see what is the name of our of the users that writes to our bot so let's run the code then for example hello world so as you can see it outputs hello world and the name of the user so everything works fine now uh, we should be able to provide some response to the to the username and we can also create some commands so in order to create commands to our bots we go to the, we need to go to the bot father and here we can write some message so we click my bots and click we choose our bot that we have created then we click edit bot and then edit comments so here we can write list of the comments that we want to our telegram bot to use so um, for example let's create some uh, comments let's write run and the format of our uh, list of the comments should be like we need to write the comment then this sign and then description so run and let's pause the description just testing bot so it says success common list updated of course we can include not only one comment but many comments then let's open our pro our simple bot and uh, as you can see when we here we have some signs that allows us to <clears throat> choose some command so here we can choose some command or if we write this uh, sign we can choose our comments and here it also provides some description of the command and so on now let's uh, respond back to our telegram bot so here we gonna do the next thing so we can, for example, let's say string comments. Let's comment these two lines. We don't need it anymore. Then we update, get message, get text. And let's say if our comment equals to the run, we can respond back with some message so let's make it a string message let's call it run forest run and then we can respond back to our uh, to our bot to our user so in order to do that we need to do um some message like yeah so um next we're gonna create some object that is responsible for sending back for the response so we're gonna write send message response new send message and then we gonna yeah, so here we have some mistake. So then we uh, gonna respond it with the next thing. So we can response set chat ID. So 
if we have many users and uh, each user writes to our bot, then each user should get the response that is depending on the command that that username choose. So we need to choose some, uh, we need to set chat ID. So we write update, get, get chat We need to write get message, get chat ID, and uh, to string. Then uh, we need to set the message that we want to send back to our. So this is a message, and we say response set text here, and write our message. Then we need to execute this. Uh, response so we are gonna write try and execute response and catch uh, so it's gonna be telegram ap exception e print so now that's it now let's ch check our code let's run the code and uh, let's see what's going to happen. So let's write some message. Nothing happens. So if we write some message, if we write run, we get response run for us run. So, but if we write other message, so hello world, hello or hello world, Nasa happens if we choose command run, we get the message that we uh, wrote in our code. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you will, I hope that you will be able to create very simple both. So that's it. Bye.